Hey guys, and welcome back to the Rusty Thicket. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and we are painting watercolors today. I know my last video was also watercolors, but since that is the bulk of what I do on my channel and for my small business, um, I have a lot to do before this first event on the 24th, so um, I'm really putting those down and trying to get as many out as I can with the most quality as possible. So this is my second batch. Um, if you guys have been around for a little while, you know I like to work in batches since I work so small anyway. And uh, this is just gonna be a cute little time lapse of me working on those and framing a few at the end to prepare for this upcoming event. Um, I really wanted these to be more like the Forgotten Garden theme I'm going with uh, this year. Of course, that's going to already include a lot of the things that I enjoy, but also bringing in a few other elements like this fence here that you see and more kind of gardeny type things. So it's still all the animals and the flowers and the things that I like, but you know, a little more leaning towards the garden type stuff. Um, I have a lot of other things to show you guys next week that I have been working on in between doing all of these. I also have hopefully a video coming out about my brand new pieces of, uh, I call it furniture, but it's like my display set up for my business. Um, I made one, so I have, I hope, the opportunity to build the second one before we get too much closer to this event and kind of debuting those. And I'll walk you through how I decided to do those and the design of all of that later. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am about to start working on some resin pieces. What I like to do, uh, a lot of these smaller ones that you'll see coming up soon, if I don't frame them, typically they go under some form of resin, whether it's in like a metal bookmark or a little pill container or, um, lately what I've been liking to do is find metal trays and put them at the bottom of metal trays and then cover them in resin and they become some kind of decor or jewelry dish or maybe even um, a coaster. And I've bought new resin that I'm really excited and a little bit nervous to use. It's uh, the kind that takes curing. Usually I do UV and it's fast, but this one is like a, a multiple hour overnight kind of curing. Um, so I hope they go well because I have spent a lot of time painting all of these things. Um, also coming up, I have a few uh, not watercolor related type things that I would like to work on. Some canvas bags. Um, I've also worked on some canvas banners for my business because I really wanted something besides one of those really heavy A-frames that a lot of businesses put out front to kind of showcase their specials or anything like that. Um, I wanted something more lightweight that I could roll up and I had some fabric paint, so it kind of made sense to go ahead and make some of those. And I've got one done, so I will also walk you all through that um, in one of my upcoming videos. I have a lot going on, so I might not get to everything before the actual event as far as sharing with you, with sharing it with you on the channel, but we will get to everything. And then um, my next one so far that I have signed up for will be in April and it's gonna sort of be an Easter thing, but also in the military, we have a month of the military child, which is in April. And they're gonna do a big family event and kind of combine those two things together instead of doing both of them this year. So it should be pretty big and the weather should be really nice because April is beautiful here. Um, February can be a little bit windy. We just had some really crazy wind um, last night and the night before. So um, another thing that I wanted to make those new pieces of display furniture for was because I want some really heavy duty windproof things so that I don't have to worry about them in my booth. Uh, but we'll walk through all that and the reasons why I've decided to make custom pieces at a later time. Um, but yeah, these are the little ones that I was talking about. They will be turned into uh, pieces on 
usually another like a metal thing that I'm pouring resin over top of them. I want them all to be really different and really unique and I think this year with my theme that I've come up with it's you know just loose enough to tie everything together which I really enjoy because then I have all kinds of free reign. Oh, and of course I'm adding in some cherry blossoms because it is cherry blossom season here right now and they weren't pretty this year really because we did not get enough rain, but everybody still loves them and I wanted to make sure I had a few since it's the spring. So one of my new favorite things that I've been working on lately is these uh, borders. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I'm still trying to figure out ones that I like and stuff because usually backgrounds... I don't know, I just get a little bit bored of painting backgrounds, but I don't want to leave everything white either. So um, some of my go-tos are like little rainy season type things or um, you know, splatters and stuff like that, but I just wanted to start playing with some new things and borders are really bringing me a lot of joy right now. So I'm going to be slowly implementing more of those as we go. Now these little tiny ones I use for magnets. They go inside of a bottle cap. This little caterpillar guy is so precious and I should probably make more of him because I think that those will sell really well. I love working tiny because I get to hop around and move around a bunch. Those large watercolor paintings are so beautiful, but I just don't have the patience to sit and wait for everything to dry and these dry so quickly. And I just enjoy drawing small in general. So they're a lot of fun for me. And I also feel like I don't have nearly as much artist block when I work little. So if you ever have an issue with that, I really suggest giving that a try. But that's kind of all I wanted to update you guys on. I will definitely see you all next week with uh, some more stuff of me getting ready. We have a four-day weekend because it's um, President's Day. So we'll be getting to a lot of stuff this weekend and hopefully filming quite a bit. And maybe even getting out into Japan some more because I've been busy and haven't been able to do that. But um, if you guys would, please, I would really appreciate it if you would like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Maybe let me know what your favorite piece is that I worked on today. That would be awesome. And I will see you guys next week. Oh, and enjoy the rest of the video because it's not over yet. Thank you.